Firefighters from across St. Lucia participated in a hands-on training session learning how to safely respond to accidents involving hybrid vehicles. The training led by Firefighters Without Borders focused on a critical aspect of dealing with these increasingly common vehicle battery emergencies. The session provided firefighters with the practical skills they need to stabilize and immobilize a hybrid vehicle, gain access to the battery compartment, and safely extinguish any fires. Firefighters practice techniques like pro lift and scan using spreaders and lift points to access the battery components while ensuring their own safety. So what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up a lot of the theoretical knowledge that we gained this morning and apply it to practical application out on the field. Here in front of us, or behind me rather, we have a, um, a vehicle that we're going to be practicing some techniques um, that we call prop, lift and scan. So what that means is we're going to aggressively chalk the vehicle to ensure it's uh, stable and immobilized. From there, we are going to um, prop the vehicle up with a spreader in the center of the vehicle, or we can use the lifting points on both sides. And we're doing that to gain access to the battery compartment so that our pumper team can get their hose line stretched and ready to allow copious amounts of water. And that water application is to penetrate the um, battery compartment that's gonna take a lot of water to essentially take out. So we're working as teams of uh, two truck response. Um, one's gonna be doing the extrication and one is gonna be doing the water supply. And we're doing that to ensure that we have um, complete safety uh, in place for all of our firefighters to ensure they understand what we kind of covered today. A key component of the training involved the use of thermal imaging cameras and gas detection equipment. These tools helped firefighters identify the heat source of the batteries and detect any hazardous gases such as carbon monoxide that may be present. Our firefighters will be using thermal imaging cameras to ensure they locate the heat of the, uh, the batteries and also our gas detection equipment to detect any carbon monoxide. So a lot of the tools that we've learned today um, will be applied and put together so that now we can take some of this information and bring it out to um, our entire fire department and our entire firefighters to give them some knowledge to safely handle um, electric and hybrid vehicles. This is just one drill of many uh, and one tactic that we're going to put together for today. The training also emphasized the importance of teamwork and coordination. Firefighters practiced working in teams of two with one team focusing on extrication and the other on water supply. This division of labor ensures the safety of all firefighters and allows for a more efficient response. With the increasing number of hybrid vehicles on the road, it is crucial for firefighters to be equipped with the proper training and knowledge to respond to accidents safely and effectively. The practical aspect of the training built up my confidence. I can honestly say that upon responding to motor vehicular accidents involving hybrid vehicle, I will perform to the best of my ability and I will be more confident in performing my duties. Today's training more or less helped us um, put into a practical context what we've been doing in the classroom, a theoretical um, classroom session. So now we're able to practice what we've been learning in the classroom. Um, in, con in, it, in terms of the, the vehicles that are coming into the country right now, the hybrid vehicles, the electric vehicles, there are a lot of safety or, or, or hazards associated with these vehicles, especially in our line of work in conducting rescue of persons who may be trapped in these vehicles. So we got a better appreciation of how to go about conducting these um, extrication exercise, well, extrication ev um, incidents, um, and also practicing the safety aspect of it because we are putting ourselves in a lot of risk, exposing ourselves to a lot of risk with these vehicles. So the training models helped us build our competency, our skills in that regard. This training session provided St. Lucia firefighters with the essential tools and skills they need to protect themselves and the community from potential hazards. Joachim Duplessis, HTS News Force.